All right, g'day IB psychologists. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at the biological explanations for stress. And just a reminder, these video tutorials are designed to accompany the lessons in our ebook, the textbook for stress, a student's guide to IB health psychology. And so to recap, we've looked at the cognitive explanations, the socio-cultural explanations, and now we're getting into biology. All right, and so the first lesson we're going to look at here is looking at the COMPT gene and how and why it's linked to stress. Uh, and then we're going to get into uh, the biopsychosocial model. So just a reminder, all of this is available in the ebook, links in the description. All right, so the COMPT gene. I've heard it called COMT, uh, but it stands for uh, catechol o methyltransferase and so why they would be called the COMT gene, I don't know. Anyway, I call it the COMT gene. Uh, but we're going to look, we'll look at how this is linked with stress. It's a great biological explanation of stress. And it's fantastic too to use for paper one for the genetics and behavior explanation. All right, so if we know, remember stress to, to review, right? Stress occurs when the, um, a situation is perceived as threatening or harmful or challenging. So it's perceived as being personally relevant and it exceeds or really taxes, exhausts the resources we have to cope, All right? So if something's too much to cope and it's personally relevant, it's going to cause stress. We looked at how appraisals can explain why people get stressed and different stress responses. Then we looked at how social status is linked with stress. And now we're looking at biological explanation. Remember in paper two, you have to have to provide a biological, cognitive, social, cultural explanation for every topic. So we're going to find out, are you a warrior or a warrior? I, my accent makes it very hard to distinguish these two. I'm not sure if it's, is it different in an American accent? Warrior, warrior? No, it's still similar, right? Australian, warrior, warrior. Nah, yeah, no. English, warrior, warrior. Yeah, right? Okay, every accent, these two sound really similar. Uh, so uh, we call it the warrior or the warrior. All right, which one are you? Now. We're not actually, we can't really find that out without doing genetic testing, but anyway, play along with me. So the common gene, there are variants of this gene that are correlated with stress responses. So if you've studied the MAOA, the warrior gene, that's kind of similar, right? We have these different variations and they're, they're correlated with different levels of behavior. So there are three types of comp gene variation you might have. You might be a val val homozygote, right? Homo the same, uh, meaning you've got a val val variant. You could be a met met, or you could be a val met. All right. So the mets are the warriors. They worry a lot. The vows are the warriors, and I remember this by thinking about vows are valiant. Right. You valiant to be valiant is something you need to be a good warrior. So mets are warriors. Now, in under regular non-stress circumstances, they have better cognition. So this is usually measured by working memory, the ability to think and hold information in their mind. Better cognition normally but they have a more reactive stress response and their cognitive skills are actually diminished in stressful situations. The vowels on the other hand, right, they're the warriors, regular circumstances, not as good working memory and other cognitive skills, but put them under pressure and they outperform the Mets. This is why they're called the warriors. All right, so that's the basis of the warrior warrior hypothesis, right? And so meaning that depending on what variant you have will influence your reaction to stress. Now, the COMP gene influences the production of the COMP enzyme. Now, this enzyme is similar to the monoamine, monoamine oxidase A, the, the um, MOA, MAOA gene, in that it's an enzyme which is released into the synapse and it helps break down neurotransmitters. All right. Uh, and so we can look at this first study we're going to look at in this lesson basically shows there is a connection between the genotype and high levels of stress. And this is Walter et al.'s 2010 study. All right, so 63 teenagers, 12 to 18, or adolescents, right? 12 isn't teenager, particularly. 63 adolescents aged 12 to 18, and they were covered over a whole year. And they used genetic testing to figure out which variant of the comp gene they had. Uh, and they also gathered saliva samples to measure uh, their stress levels. And what they found was, right, 17% with the METs, 35 valves, 48% with the Valmets. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier. In a general population, roughly speaking, about half of us are Valmets, so we're heterozygotes. Uh, 
about 25% are vowels and 25% are mets. So this is kind of similar, but a little bit more skewed towards the vowels. So they measured cortisol, the stress hormone released when we're stressed, uh, at three different time points throughout the year. And here are the results, okay? So we can see this is the, the met mets, the met vowels, and the vowel vowels. So compare the mets to the vowels. They have a higher increase. This is mean salivary cortisol. So baseline follow-up, follow-up two, right? So in the beginning of the study, kind of similar uh, cortisol levels, but a much bigger increase over the year for the Mets, suggesting that over the course of the year they were put under more stress. And this is kind of uh, a common finding in a lot of studies that as we go through adolescence, uh, higher stress levels occur. Whereas if we look at with the um, with the Met valves and the Val valves, right, pretty a much more stable, consistent level of stress. Also, by the end of the study, we can see that the Mets have the higher levels of cortisol, so they are under more stress. So this is a really simple piece of evidence to support the warrior warrior hypothesis, and that in 12 to 18 year olds, uh, over the course of the year, they had higher the Met Mets had higher uh, average cortisol levels than the valves. Okay, and as we see, see they also had the bigger increase. I really like this study. It's because why I like this example of the comp gene with stress, not only for the genetics uh, aspect, but also for the biological aspect for health psychology, is it's pretty simple, I think, but there's a lot of terminology here that you can use, and there's a real depth of your explanation you can provide as to how and why the gene is linked with stress. Uh, and, and it's very novel. I've never seen this in any other IB psychology uh, textbooks or anywhere else, although I don't read other people's work, so it might be out there. I'm just not aware of it. But anyway, I really like this example. Now, let's have a look at why to go even further into our explanation of why the comp gene is linked with stress. The vowels produce more comp enzyme, all right? And so that's important to, to remember because, all right, so the, the Mets produce less. So if you have less of the enzyme in the synapse, right? So remember the enzyme breaks down these neurotransmitters. So just to review what happens with neurotransmission, right? From these vesicles through the axon terminal, the neurotransmitters are released into the synapse here and they bind to these receptor sites. Now they don't get absorbed by the, into these receptor sites. They bind and then they're released back into the synapse. The enzyme helps clean up, right? And degrade um, break down those neurotransmitters so they can get either flushed out of the system or reabsorbed to be reprocessed. If you have less enzyme, that means there's less enzyme breaking down the neurotransmitters, so you're going to have higher levels of neurotransmitters remaining in the synapse. Now, the studies have shown that the METs have actually, um, high, they do have higher levels of neurotransmitters, some of them like 40% more dopamine in some areas, particularly in the prefrontal cortex. I dug and dug and dug in the research to try to find a logical explanation as to how that would link with stress, but I couldn't be my guest. It gets pretty confusing when you get into that level of detail. But one neurotransmitter that is important is noradrenaline or norepinephrine if you're in America. Um, and so noradrenaline or norepinephrine is released during the stress response, right? So, it, and it helps with the stress response. So it increases our heart rate, blood sugar, increases blood pressure. So a very straightforward explanation here as to why the METs would have higher stress, they have less of the enzyme to break down noradrenaline, their noradrenaline levels remain high in the synapse, higher levels of the stress response, increased heart rate, blood sugar, increased blood pressure, okay? Um, so hopefully that gives us a little bit of detail as to why the comp gene might be linked with stress, but we're going to get into more explanations in the next lesson as well. All right. So, but the key thing here to note really out of this lesson is what is the warrior, warrior hypothesis and understanding the terminology and that basic study by Walder that connects the genotype to the different stress responses. So just a reminder, we've got the revision book as well that summarizes all this detail here. We can see the warrior warrior hypothesis. Uh, there's also the audio book available. All the links are in the description. If you're a teacher, check them out. If you're a student, um, you might wanna suggest your teacher has a look uh, if you're interested as well. All right, the blog post here, so we're always updating this as we are updating our store. All the links are in the description. If that was helpful, leave me a comment. Remember, these video tutorials are just designed to give students another point of access to the information. So you've got the audio book, the blog post, the textbook, and now the videos. So whatever you prefer, however you prefer to access the information, it's all there for you. Oh, and also, yeah, these slides that I'm using are in the teacher support pack. So if you're a teacher watching this and you wanna explain it for yourself, by all means, in the teacher support pack, download them and go for it. Um, 
use them as you wish. All right, okay, coming up next, we'll go further into the Compt gene.